Today's reading is from Genesis chapter 26. Now there was a famine in the land, besides the earlier famine of Abraham's time, and Isaac went to Abimelech king of the Philistines in Gerea. The Lord appeared to Isaac and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land where I tell you to live. Stay in this land for a while, and I will be with you and will bless you. For to you and your descendants I will give all these lands and will confirm the oath I swore to your father Abraham. I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and will give give them all these lands and through your offspring all nations on earth will be blessed because Abraham obeyed me and kept my requirements, my commands, my decrees and my laws. When the men of that place asked him about his wife, he said, She is my sister, because he was afraid to say she is my wife. He thought, Men of this place might kill me on account of Rebekah, because she is beautiful. When Isaac had been through there a long time, Abimelech king of the Philistines looked down from a window and saw Isaac caressing his wife Rebekah. So Abimelech summoned Isaac and said, She is really your wife. Why did you say she is my sister? Isaac answered him, Because I thought I might lose my life on account of her. Then Abimelech said, What is this you have done to us? One of the men might well have slept with your wife, and you would have brought guilt upon us. So Abimelech gave orders to all the people, anyone who molests this man or his wife will surely be put to death. Isaac planted crops in the land. The same year reaped a hundredfold, because the Lord had blessed him. The man became rich, and his wealth continued to grow until he became very wealthy. He had so many flocks and herds and servants that the Philistines envied him. So all the wells that his father's servants had dug in the time of his father Abraham, the Philistines stopped up, filling them with earth. Then Abimelech said to Isaac, Move away from us, you have become too powerful for us. So Isaac moved away from there and encamped in the valley of Gerea and settled there. Isaac reopened the wells that had been dug in the time of his father Abraham. When the Philistines had stopped up after Abraham died, he gave them the same names his father had given them. Isaac's servants dug in the valley and discovered a well of fresh water there. But the herdsmen of Gerea quarrelled with Isaac's herdsmen and said, The water is ours. So he named the, the well Ezek because they disputed with him. Then they dug another well, but they quarrelled over that one, so he named it Sitna. He moved on from there and dug another well, and no one quarrelled over that one. He named it Rehoboth, saying, Now the Lord has given us room, and we will flourish in the land. From there he went to Beersheba, That night the Lord appeared to him and said, I am the God of your father Abraham. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bless you and will increase the number of your descendants for the sake of my servant Abraham. Isaac built an altar there and called on the name of the Lord. There he pitched his tents and there his servants dug a well. Meanwhile, Abimelech had come to him from Gerea, with Ahazot, his personal adviser, and Fickle, the commander of his forces. Isaac said, Isaac asked him, Why have you come to me, since you are hostile to me, and sent me away? They answered, We saw clearly that the Lord was with you, so we said, There ought to be a sworn agreement between us between us and you, 
Let us make a treaty with you that you will do us no harm. Just as we do not molest you, but always treated you well and sent you away in peace. Now you are blessed by the Lord. Isaac then made a feast for them, and they ate and drank. Early the next morning the men swore an oath to each other. Then Isaac sent them on their way, and they left in peace. That day Isaac's servants came and told him about the well they had dug. They said, We found water. He called it Sheba. And to this day the name of the town was called Beersheba. When Esau was forty years old, he married Judith, daughter of Beri the Hittites, and also Basemath, daughter of Elan the Hittites. They were a source of grief to Isaac and Rebekah. We have a great reading in Genesis chapter 26, um, when Isaac and Rebekah meet up with King Abimelech. Uh, Isaac tells uh, King Abimelech that uh, that Rebekah is his sister. We see this replicated in the early chapters of Genesis when Abraham and Sarah meet up with King Abimelech and because of fear, because of anxiety, because of worry and perhaps because of selfishness, uh, Abraham and Isaac both, why, uh, both lie about their wives. Be careful how we speak, be careful how we're motivated to speak. Uh, speak honestly, speak openly and speak truthfully. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching and uh, hope you have a great day.